creamy, rich New York-style cheesecake is one of the city's most iconic desserts. We visited three famous spots, Veneros, Eileen's Special Cheesecake, and Mazadar Bakery. This is Best in Town. We are on the journey today to find the best cheesecake in New York City. Erin, do we like cheesecake? I don't like anything that's white and creamy, and especially thick and white and creamy. Like, the texture of looking at it makes me... Anyway, a simple cheesecake recipe calls for cream cheese, sugar, and eggs. At each spot, we'll be judging based off of three qualities. One, the filling. It should be smooth, creamy, and light. Two, the topping. It should add a refreshing brightness to a rich cheesecake. And three, the crust. If there is a crust, it should add texture and flavor to the overall cheesecake. Okay, so we are going to the Narrows. It is an icon in the city. It's been around for over 125 years. So this place is supposed to have such a thick, creamy cheesecake. It doesn't even need a crust. Well, we'll see about that. I'm very into it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. People say Veneros is an iconic place. Having a 125-year-old history doesn't hurt. This is what Italian, Italian life in New York was. It's the essence of an Italian family. My definition New York style of cream cheesecake. It's gotta have the Philadelphia cream cheese. So what makes our New York style cheesecake different than our competitors is that we use the freshest cream cheese, sour cream. Sour cream provides an even richer texture and subtle tang. Another big factor is that we don't use graham cracker. We've never used graham cracker crust. I mean, it just, to us, detracts from the flavor of the New York cheesecake. Homemade apricot glaze is painted on top of the fresh strawberries. How are we feeling? See, when I think of New York style cheesecake, I think of this one. Yeah, I'm like having like shallow breathing. I hope you don't hate it. I won't. <laughs> I think it just needs, for me, like the strawberries on top and the apricot glaze, like helps balancing. I love sweet, sweet, sweet things. Very simple, yeah. very classic, mm -hmm. kind of understated, but still like can speak for itself. A crust will detract from the overall essence of a cheesecake. Yeah. And for that reason, I like that there is no crust. I feel like for a local or a tourist, they would taste this cheesecake and be like, oh, that's a great New York style cheesecake. Yeah, and that's what it's supposed to be. If I leans, it's supposed to be lighter, correct? Then that may win in my book. I'm not sure. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. The lighter, the better. Who knows? No, I don't. So our second stop mm -hmm. is Eileen's Special Cheesecake, yes. and it is this unassuming, cute little shop in Soho. Uh huh. I've heard of it. It's always super packed. Have you been there before? I have not been there yet. Okay, you're in for a treat because this place has been nominated the best cheesecake, Ooh. and I've been on so many different tour guides. So Ooh. I hope you like it. Well, let's go, girl. You know, this really is a family business. Everyone asks, what sets you apart? Why do you think your cheesecake is so special? And it, it really is just the high quality standards that we put into it. Our parents, you know, instilled in us and it's just who we are and what this cake means to us. Some traditional New York cheesecakes are very heavy and dense, but what makes our cheesecake a little bit different is it's light creaminess. You can just keep eating it <laughs> and eating it. But can you just tell us how you make a cheesecake step by step? Um, there's certain, yeah, there's certain things we can we don't we put don't on. Say. They have so many flavors here, so I can't really have a favorite, but I gotta admit, classic is number one. 
have 45 delicious flavors, and we add a flavor of the year every year, the plain and the strawberry being our most popular sellers. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, that I can get so down with. I really like that one. No, I'm serious, I really like that. What it's is that? sweet and tart. And I think I just prefer more of like a fruit on my cheesecake. Like the plain is good, but this is like next level. For someone who doesn't like cheesecake. They should eat this. Yeah. I like also how it tastes almost like a meringue because they whip their egg whites a lot. Right. So it's fluffier and not so dense. No, you're right. You're right. It's very, 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 very good. And I think you get the best of both worlds. You get a lighter cream cheese that doesn't sit in you. Yeah. And it's still a delicious cheesecake. It's I mean, really I can good. see why this place is nominated as the yeah. best cheesecake in America. And it's been packed all day. How's the sauce? The sauce is good. It's like not too sweet or syrupy. It's like... It doesn't taste like artificial. No, not at all. It's real strawberries. Do you want to split the strawberry with me? Yeah. I love that. All right, Eileen. You changed my mind. You like cheesecake now? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I would definitely try more. We'll see you at the next stop. Woo, cheesecake. Mm. <laughs> so Erin. Yes. This is our third and final stop. It is. Mazadar Bakery. And this place won the best cheesecake in New York. Well, so I hope that you will like it. We'll see. It includes some ingredients you wouldn't typically find in a New York style cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that pays off. I'm excited. I'm is this the right here? Yes, it is. There are so many things to eat. Mazadar is a word in the Urdu language, which is a language that we speak in Pakistan. And it's a word that we use to describe the magic or the essence that makes something special. When I started creating a menu of pastry, one of the things I often challenged myself to do was to make things that I didn't particularly enjoy eating myself. And cheesecake was one of those things. And being in New York, it was almost a sort of a, a requisite. Uh, I had to have a cheesecake on a New York bakery menu. And so I started to work with one. I started to want to make one that was a little bit lighter, had more personality to it. The cheesecake at Mazdar is definitely the best cheesecake in the city. It's light and fluffy and lemony. I've tried so many and I can't find anyone better than here. I always like to say that uh, things can only take what they can take at a certain point. Uh, so in adding things slowly, it uh, builds an emulsion, it builds a smooth batter and doesn't create lumps. What we love about lemon is that it's sort of this flavor that brightens so many different types of food. And what's nice about it is it has the ability to lift and brighten uh, particularly fat. And because there's such a sort of a high fat content in cheesecake because of the sour cream and the cream cheese, the lemon sort of has the ability to kind of brighten and break that up quite a bit. Most New York style cheesecakes have a graham cracker crust, so we broke away from that tradition a little bit and had a chocolate crust amount built into it. We love the dark chocolate because it's a nice contrast to the vanilla and the lemon. It gives it sort of a really lovely balance. I've been through a journey on the cheesecake train and um, this one is looking like my stop. Like the thickness of the crust and the fact that it's chocolate, you know, you know I love chocolate. We're just crust girls in a crust world. Cheers. <laughs> That's the one. That's it. I'd die for this. I would eat this 
again. The lightness in the lemon really, really transforms it for me. I think it takes the lemon and the vanilla, take it away in my mind from being this like thick, heavy cream cheese, and it makes it more like a mousse or like a fluffy custard. Yeah. But this is more dense than Eileen's. Than Eileen's, yes. But the lemon makes it better. This crust is great. The batter with the lemon and the vanilla bean make it a lot more palatable for people who don't like such a thick, dense, cream cheesy taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm happy. So That's I right. think we have a clear winner in your mind. Shh. I don't know. I'm not so sad. I'm sad. So this story ends with a happy ending. It, I like cheesecake now. I never thought I was going to say that. Like, my, I, huh? <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? Are I'm you ready? ready? Are you? OK. I actually don't know who you're going to pick. I think I know. Oh, She's gonna imagine pick. that. Three, two, two one. one. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either. That was my second, but this one's my first. So why did you pick Mazadar? I picked Mazadar because, you know, I didn't like cheesecake and they did something new for me. They did vanilla, lemon zest, chocolate crust. It really like, it changed my mind. It disguised it and made it like fun and new. I chose Eileen's because I felt like the cheesecake there stuck to what a New York style cheesecake is for me. Like right. you said, Mazadar, there were a lot of additional ingredients that made it taste great. But like at the end of the day, a New York style cheesecake for me is something that's like quite simply very plain and light and fluffy and decadent. You could finish one and you wouldn't feel weighed down. Totally, yeah. And the true like cream cheesy flavor was done in a very well balanced way. And for that reason, I picked Eileen's. Eileen's is like the classic lady, like the classic cheesecake. And Mazadar is more like fancy off the beaten path. Mm -hmm. She's, yeah. you know? But when it comes to the best New York style cheesecake in town, it is Eileen's. Eileen's. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with us? Do you think that Eileen's is the best New York style cheesecake in town? Or was it Mazadar yeah. or someplace else? Let us know in the comment section below. I don't know how to end this, y'all, because I truly cannot feel my fingers.